Hey guys, Joanna coming in, got another battle replay for you here on Total War Rome 2. Welcome back to the Land of Sieges and welcome back to the indicator right there showing that there is going to be a massive sally out from the defenders. That right there, balance of power, look at the difference. Huge balance of power in favor of the attackers. We have guerrillas, we have a full sally out army here. New players, veterans, maybe you didn't pay attention to it. That down in the left-hand corner is a huge, huge indication that something really bad is on its way. So, yeah, let's get into the army comps. We'll start off looking at the defenders. We have a Masesli here being commanded by Beaumont. I think it's just Beaumont. Uh, he has brought with him six units of the Catuli tribesmen, which are outside here, guerrilla troops. He also has three units of the Numidian riders, which is a medium shock guerrilla, guerrilla deployment unit of cavalry. Uh, he also has three desert legionnaires, one Numidian spearman, general is an armored Numidian rider. And he also has four units of the Numidian heavy skirmishers back here near the town center, which this settlement is Bertigala. Uh, but this really isn't very much about the, the the settlement itself. Obviously, you guys can tell by the length of the replay, the attacker's probably getting nowhere near the town center here. Probably getting nowhere near. Uh, then we do have a Gete being commanded by Odysseus, and he has five units of noble swords, one of those being the general, four of the mercenary axe warriors, one spear, one falksman, and four units of the Dacian heavy bowmen. And then we have Nabatea being commanded by why so serious and he has brought four units of the noble um, the, sorry, sorry four units of the Nabataean noble cavalry one of those being his general i believe yep right there he also has three scythed chariots two armored camel spearmen and two units of the desert heavy lancers pretty disgusting pretty disgusting force there if i do say so myself for Nabatea. Getting out onto the unsuspecting attackers here, we first take a look at Arvaki being commanded by Alex is Ruben 18, I think I wrote that down right, and he has nine units of Scutari, three Iberian swordsmen, general is a noble fighter, four units of the Balearic slingers, and a giant ballista. Then we have a pretty solid powerhouse faction over here. We have Rome, and from uh, being commanded by C S S S Sicking for I don't know, sucking for I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yeah, he has brought from what we can see five units of Asadi and a giant ballista. And then over here, we have Egypt being commanded by R Brandon Oitman, 66. And he has five units of Galatian swordsmen, five thorax swordsmen, one Egyptian infantry, one carrying axeman, one thorax pikeman. General is a royal thorax swordsman. He also has three Cretan archers, a Rhodian slinger, and a giant ballista. So. Yeah, this is probably going to be really nasty, but uh, players need to see this. Players need to see this kind of stuff. Newer players, brand new players, you got to see this stuff. You have to. So I'm not going to make a break. We're just going to jump in. Cav coming outside. Uh, the Cthulhu forces now starting to, at least they're visible, but we have some of the shock cavalry here, the Numidian riders making their way in. Here comes the Cthulhu tribesmen making their way across. We have the Iberian swordsmen starting to make their way. Do have the ballista running away, though. That is definitely a good sign. A couple more units of Scutari here now showing themselves hidden in the woods. But here comes Nabatea. All of Nabatea is now coming outside of the settlement. Guerrilla forces getting closer and closer. Javelins now being thrown. Median riders actually charging in. Uh, they're not doing very well. Yeah, they're getting killed. They only have 11 kills for that unit. You still got this unit over here. The full force of Artavaki starting to make their way forward. Do see Nabatea has now branched off in two separate directions. Chariots now are on their way out as well. Armored camel spearmen coming through the forest here, and they're going to just charge right into those Iberian swords. Oh, God. Flattening them. Flattening them. We do have some javelins coming, though, from Iberian swordsmen there, so that's good. Uh, Gatuli tribesmen don't appear to be doing very well, but basically the Gatuli tribesmen were just a distraction. Just a bit of a front line for Nabatea, obviously, for Nabatea now to start just surrounding the lines here. Camel Spearman there, 36 kills, down to 44, so they're actually losing. Just going to pull them out of combat. This unit of Camel Spearman here, 10 kills so far. 
But big boys coming around the flank here. This is going to be a huge problem. Desert Heavy Lancers, very heavy shock cavalry surrounding the force. You can see one of the Numidian riders actually coming out of the woods from over there has come around. Now surrounding Arvaki, who's about to have his slingers just completely flattened again. Numidian riders says that they're losing right now, but it's because some of them are still stuck over there fighting these Qatari. Uh, the Desert Heavy Lancers have now charged in. Chariots haven't even got here yet. Chariots have not even gotten to the fight. Here they come now. I think they're going to charge right on through this Qatari. Armored Camel Spearman charging in again. And here comes the Chariots. Just as the Heavy Lancers pull away, the Chariots are going to start getting involved. Second unit of Chariots right there. And the third unit of Chariots actually starting to rip across the mainstay of the force here for Arvaki. And uh, Arvaki's not having a good day because here comes the rest. Nabataean Noble Cavalry, four units of them stuck together this whole time. Chariots, 73 kills for that unit. This unit here with 159. Neither one have lost a chariot. Oh, no, this one's lost four, actually, now. This unit over here still doing damage, 150 kills for them. And look at the allies. They're not even moving. Egypt and Rome, not moving, not attempting to send anything over here to help their allies out. I mean, honestly, Arvaki attacking over here by themselves... Not usually a good idea. You want to stay together. You want to stick together. I mean, so I see Rome sending some legionnaires over here, but guys, this is too late. They're sending army. They're sending infantry over here way too late. Way, way, way too late. Nabataean Noble Cavalry getting into a Balearic Slinger. The Nabataean Noble Cavalry General now in here. Let's check out the chariots again. 196 for that unit. 369 there. Uh, is the third unit dead? I don't see the third ba third uh, chariot any longer. So I guess maybe they took care of one of the chariots. But now it's getting in, this one's just going to get into the back of all this infantry that's currently fighting all of the general units and all the other Nabataean cavalry. Yeah, chariot, 318, 319. Just absolute destruction. Absolute destruction. This one here, 401 kills. So, don't attack by yourself. And if you see the balance of power looking the way that it did back at the beginning, know something's coming, stay near your allies. I, I, I can't stress that any more than, than I am right now unless I just keep stressing it in other videos. But Arvaki's dead. Arvaki is completely dead. The replay was 19 minutes and 31 seconds long, somewhere in there. So four minutes, an entire attacking force is done. And it costed them some Cthulhu tribesmen from Sicily. But I don't really think he was planning on doing anything aside of what he did. Oh, we actually have an armored Numidian rider cavalry right there. I didn't see that one. But Nabatea just completely ruling the day here with the chariots and all the cavalry. So, really rough. Uh, Rome, like I said, he was starting to send some of his legionnaires over there. But now they're getting shot at. Gete firing down into his legionnaires. But now with this whole area being freed up. All of this cavalry right here can just start swinging around, causing massive headaches for the rest of the attackers. What do we have here? So more legionnaires, more legionnaires, more legionnaires. So just regular legionnaires here for Rome. This Hastati is about to have a really bad day. Desert Heavy Lancers just blast right through them. I mean, the player here, the Roman player, could have tried to stop this Hastati unit from making their way forward and maybe trying to form a little bit of a defensive line with all of the other legionnaires that were coming out of the woods. Uh, Egypt's still sitting over here. He has made a breach, so that is a good thing. Do have some Galatian swordsmen currently inside the settlement taking on some desert legionnaires. The African ballista over here with 70 kills there for Masesali. We do have a unit of the Dacian heavy bowmen up on the hill there, or up on the plateau, I should say. They're probably going to start firing down, but I don't think they're really going to need to. I really don't think they need to. And look at how much the balance of power has shifted. For the attackers already. Uh, Rome bringing his artillery crew down over here. So that's actually a good sign. Maybe he's got ammo left. And he's going to come over here. And uh, use the giant ballista there from Egypt. When he is done using said piece of artillery. Uh, back over here. Chariot still wavering. 401 kills. The other un unit of chariots right there. Wow. This one has two chariots left. This one here has 11. And they have 471 kills. Now we have the armored Numidian cavalry tossing their javelins. Probably just going to pick down on some of these legionnaires. I don't think they've gotten any kills, though. 
Doesn't look like they have. Have they gotten any kills? It says 21. Not sure what they got 21 kills on. Uh, the Roman general has run all the way over here. We have the Syrian archers and probably a Balearic slinger. Yeah, Balearic slinger. Two Syrian archers, three Syrian archers running over here. So Rome is starting to make their way over there towards their ally. But it's, again, it's a pretty far distance. It is a pretty far distance. Uh, if I was Egypt, I would try and just tread lightly getting inside the settlement. He did send all of his Galatian swordsmen in, though. Yeah, all four. Oh, no, he's got to carry an axeman right there. Uh, Galatian swordsmen broken away. 30 men left. 31 men left. 56 kills. Desert Legionnaires probably going to clean up over here. Carrying axemen, not very good. I don't personally think the carrying axemen are good at all, really. Um, I'm not going to say that they are a waste of a unit because they do have the precursor ability with javelins, um, but they're not really going to do anything against anything that means, you know, uh, Desert Legionnaires are going to wreck them. They're going to completely destroy them. This Desert Legionnaire, 132 kills. Killing off Galatian Swordsman. We have another Noble Sword right there. 90 kills. They've lost 16 men. Somehow they lost 16 men. Not sure exactly. Maybe they got hit by javelins. But now, see, the defenders have now... Oh, no. Syrian archers. Armored Numidian Cavalry charging in. Melee attack, 48. Weapon damage, 36. Charge bonus, 36. And getting into all of the range units here for Rome. Looks like maybe they didn't catch the Balearic, but they caught everything else. Rome General trying to do what he can do. We have the Royal Thorax Swordsman General running away from the fight. Is that a Catuli still over there? Oh, my God. A Catuli tribesman su survived. I thought they were all dead. Uh, but, yeah, Rome just going to do, just doing, not Rome, sorry. Napatia just doing what his thing. He's doing his thing. 540, 550 now with a side chariot. The other chariot right there. Oh, where's the other chariot? Is it dead? Did it finally die? I don't see it anymore. Nabateen, 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 Nabateen. These are the camels. Yeah, two armored camel spearmen. So I guess... Oh, no, there's the other chariot right there. 401 for that unit. 627 for that unit. 638. Still getting more kills as they pull out of the fight. You can see that chariot right there. Going to keep getting kills until they're out of the fight. 650. The other chariot charging in over here. Broken. 401. So just between two units of chariots, he got over, over 1,000 kills. Rough. Very, very rough. The Roman general over here, not looking good. Armin Dumidian Cavalry, 86 kills. About to charge in onto both of the ballista crews that were left here undefended. That is very, very rough yet again. Uh, Rome is still making his way up towards the walls. But this settlement is a little difficult to attack right off the walls. Usually breaches are made. There's a breach point. There's another breach point, obviously. Egypt over here made a breach point also. I have seen this be used as a breach point before. Not usually, though. Usually, the the standard breach points on Bertigala are there, there, and maybe here for the attackers as far as they having uh, artillery, obviously, to be able to make said breaches. Armored Legionnaires, Veteran Legionnaires, Armored Legionnaires. I mean, very strong infantry here, but... They're not able to do very much. We actually have a Falksman that came outside of the settlement. 71 kills, cutting into some Legionnaires. Yeah, the attackers are pretty much just all over the place. Now we have this armored Camel Spearman. They're going to charge in here. We're just going to go on right past. Okay, they're just going to go right on past here. Uh, did Rome's archers and everything survive? Looks like his did. Yeah, the ranged for, uh, for Rome did stay. Uh, I only see... Cretan, Cretan, Rhodian, Cretan. Okay, so all of the attacking range units that are over here are still alive. Desert Heavy Lancers, 235 kills for that unit, breaking another unit of Rome. Legionnaires breaking down. Uh, another unit of the Nabataean Noble Cavalry, 82 kills. This unit of the Armored Spears, only, what do they have? 19 kills? Really? That's it? Nabataean Noble Cavalry, 40 kills. This unit of the Armored Camel Spearmen pulling away. But, I mean, they're just, they're just heavy melee. They're just heavy melee. Oh, God. And here comes the Navateen General. Armored Numidian Rider. Heavy shock cavalry general. Massive charge in onto these Legionnaires. And they're just going to keep on going. Because, I mean, these guys are all facing the wrong way. Actually, no. They just barely turned around. But I don't think they turned around in time. Now, with this happening here, this Desert Heavy Lancer could get another massive rear charge into those Legionnaires. And that's exactly what he's about to do. Come on. Hey, boom. There you go. Huge charge. Huge, huge, huge charge. 
Um, so, yeah, I know there's eight minutes left in the replay, but I honestly don't think anything else is really going to happen here for the attackers, which is very unfortunate. Um, I don't know. I know I know a lot of names in the Total War community as far as covering replays and playing battles with, with them. Uh, I'm not sure of the three names here for the attackers. So I, I can't say this. Obviously, I can't say this for certain. I don't know if they're new players, newer players. Um, I'm, I'm not really sure. Maybe they're just, you know, friendly players, just play to have fun kind of thing. I don't know. Um, but they are, unfortunately, it looks like this is how this battle is going to go. The Really, the only way the attackers are more than likely going to come in now is through this breach, which is just going to allow them to get completely annihilated. His Rome is pretty much gone now. He's got three units, veteran legionnaire. Oh, sorry, two no, two armored legionnaires and a veteran legionnaire. They're sticking together. Uh, they were in some like triangle formation there to try and save themselves, but again, Nabatier is just going to keep on charging. I mean, he's got Cav. I'm not. I'm not hating on anybody uh, in any way, shape, or form. I mean, this is what Nabatier has. He has Cav, so he's going to do Cav stuff. He's just going to charge. So, but I'm going to break this up here now, and we're going to get to the uh, ending army compositions. And uh, hopefully this is a bit of a lesson that can maybe be learned by newer players, new players, newer players. I mean, look at the balance of power now. Drastically different than what it was. Drastically different. But, uh, all right, well, that is, uh, that's going to be the end of the actual replay itself. Because, like I said, I don't see the attackers really being able to do very much. So I'm going to jump in to the Ending Army Composition screen, so I'll see you guys over there in a minute. And here we are in on the Ending Army Composition screen. And, uh, I mean, Nabatea, 2,709 kills. Thank you very much, Why So Serious, for sending this over. Uh, I may be using it in a different direction than what you probably intended it. I mean, it was, you did a great job. You definitely did an amazing job uh, with your cavalry. Obviously, with your chariots, you did a great job. Um, but I'm, using, I'm trying to use this a little bit. This this replay is a little bit more of a teaching tool for newer players. So why so serious? Did a great job. 2,709 kills. Uh, then we have Beaumont Sito here. I guess Beaumont. I just said Beaumont in the beginning. It's Beaumont Sito uh, with Miss 2,011 kills and Odysseus 1719. Then we have Alex's Rubin 18 with Arvaki 1114 kills. Brandon Reutman, I guess. Uh, 812 with Egypt, and then we have CSK, CSCK, I don't know how to say your name, I don't know what your, uh, I don't know what to say there, but Rome playing 816 kills, very, very rough, very, 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 very rough, um, but yeah, so I mean the chariots did good, 651, 402, 339, Cav 279, 253, 307, 169, so really solid job for the most part of his army. Uh, Beaumont, 134, 288, 213. These guys basically just held the front line. Army Numidian Cavalry, 339. General, 151. His, one of his Numidian riders did okay. 170, the other two not getting very much. Catuli Tribesman, 104, 159, 241. So even they did really good. I didn't even see them really fight. Uh, Odysseus here. Noble Swords, 257, 133, 339, 286 on an axe. His archers, 114, 124. Alex Rubin, anything, 156 on his Katare. That's something, 170, 135 on his Iberians. And we have Egypt with a 12, uh, 69, giggity. There you go. Um, yeah, not very much. And then Rome, 128. Yeah, that's it. So, all right, guys, there you go. End of the replay. Um just teaching, teaching tool. Hopefully, it hopefully people pick up on something here. But that's going to be the end, guys. So please make sure to hit the like button, drop some comments, share the video around, subscribe to the channel. I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, and as always, until the next one. Hey, guys. I just wanted to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it.